That's the fourth one. If it's like the metal plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. You have the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Robbins. If you had been abducted by a monster and then half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. But you lived, didn't you? And your hair looks terrific again. You sure know how to make a girl feel good. We'd better go find Brink again. In case these metal plates do the job. He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. An armed expedition. There's no guarantee we'll ever get back. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. You're right. We can't leave him. He scares me, Boston. Worse than the monster. They're both just hungry for something. But Brink is smarter, more dangerous. We're smart, too. Let's go. That was a powerful one. Commander Lowe, can you hear me? Brink, we're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we... Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Where are you? It's near one of the light bridges. An arched bridge over a waterfall and then into a crevice in the rock. You must have been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Hold tight, we're on our way. Hold tight? Very funny. You've just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. When would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. I was reaching for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here, even if you have to cut off my hand. Don't be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. You'd cut it off. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Chew it off then! Oh, I would, Brink. But human teeth can't bite through bone. After all that's happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Do something, Commander! Do it now! You're going to saw off his hand with a jawbone? The teeth are razor sharp. What about anesthetic? Do it, Commander! Brace yourself, Brink. <laughs> I can't believe you endured so much pain without fainting. I'm fine. But I'll need more crystals. Come with us to the Triangle Matrix. We've got all the metal plates. You think it's gonna take us home? You don't know where it's going to take you. I'd rather gather more life crystals. What if it does take us home, Brink? What if we can't come back and get you? Do you want to stay here forever? 
Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? You agree we have a deal? Agreed. All right, all right. That should do it. Do what? What's happening? Nothing is happening, that's what. That's not exactly nothing, Brink. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? I think nothing is on the other side. What did you expect? The Tooth Fairy to come and fly us all home? The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. He is definitely insane. Is that your opinion as a journalist? It's my opinion as a sane person. I saw something like this in the museum display. This machine was the greatest of the inventor's achievements. What does it do? I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think it might send us home? Right now it's doing nothing. Looks like there's a part missing here. There's a gap. Sorry, Bird. You'll have to find a new home.
Robbins. We've got to try and turn on the inventor's machine. It's the only way to find out what it does. What do we do? Search all these islands for a part when we don't even know what it looks like? Where are all those helpful hints now? The hints were about things they deliberately hid to keep them safe. But this missing part, what if it was stolen or just corroded away? Then all of this would be for nothing. Boston, somebody knows what the missing part does and maybe even where it is. Well, I don't know. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about somebody who was sealed in a crystal pyramid. When I called you before you were kidnapped, I was trying to tell you that it worked. I revived the alien. Was it angry? Glad? He didn't kill me, if that's what you mean. He talked to me, but I didn't understand anything he said. Thanks. Maybe I should take one more life crystal. Here's where my alien education either pays off, or we die. Die? As long as I don't accidentally offend him, we'll be okay. Aklash Park. He says, open your mouth, which is their way of saying, speak. You do the talking, Maggie, so you can understand each other. Speak. The machine in your laboratory, what does it do? Where the lights all shine, it opens the eye. Who are you, Honored One? The bringer of misfortune. Did you invent the life crystals? To raise the dead is the greatest achievement we've seen. What raises the dead 
can debase the living. The creatures who live here now, did you people know of them or did they come later? Millions of years have passed since then. What once were pets or companions have followed their own evolutionary paths. They have become as beautiful or as terrible, as clever or as stupid as it was in them to be. The island we found, where was it hidden? It left this reality, but only a little way. It can come back, because it never fully left. The light bridges are magnificent. We never dreamed the people could walk on light. Ah, yes. We were happily surprised at how convenient those light strands turned out to be. If we had known, we would not have bothered to build the trams. Why was your tomb so carefully hidden? So only the most persistent, the most clever, and therefore the most dangerous of visitors would find me. The Eye. Does that mean the crystal at the meeting place of the light bridges? The machine generated this eye. The eye sees into all space and time. And where the eye sees, the mind can fly. Was this eye the doorway into the place where your people went? A door that can be crossed only one way. You don't know that. If someone has a strong enough tie to reality... Do you think you are stronger than all my people? Even they, the strongest race known, could not overcome the temptation before it was too late. If we bring your people back to this world, then they can build a starship to take us home to Earth. It's our only chance. Maybe we'll fail, but you must let us try. Since you think you are stronger and wiser than my people, I will let you have the fruit of your pride. I will tell you how to find the peace I hid, if you know how to ask. But it will cost you more than you ever imagined. Please, don't play any more games with us. Where is the missing piece? You cannot understand what will begin if you activate the eye. You cannot bear to pay what it will cost you. Yes, you've warned us. Now where is the peace? Go to the map with this message and see what it shows you. Thank you for helping us. I will only have helped you when you give up your foolish plan. We're not giving up. My only consolation is that true death comes closer with each dying. Good job of translating, Maggie. He speaks very slowly and clearly, but I'm also pretty damn good. Are you sure we want to leave? He's a living encyclopedia. <laughs>